Hey, I'm Nick Long Gamer. Welcome back to Tour de France 23. This is episode 23. Your 13th as a team entering the biggest points haul race of the year, but also coming down to that stretch where, hey, there's really not that much left once we get that Tour de France out of the way. 10 of the 12 remaining stages to be played out on the year we're going to get a chance to participate in. Il Lombardia is going to be a big points haul. It's worth 100. The World Championships are worth 100, but as we already noted, Last year, those World Championships don't impact the team ratings. So we have one day, one race, 100 points that will impact things beyond the two races that we get to participate in. But we have got to, and one of those, for that matter, is worth more points than any race we've previously been in, as it's finally our first invite to a slightly higher level race. But that 13th place is hugely in jeopardy with a high points accumulating Tour de France. Let's get through that and see where we wind up. Are we still well placed? I'd be I'd be thrilled if we were still top 15. But Venipole is going to claim the opening stage. I'll make my way quickly through this one. But Pagacar already claiming a victory on stage 2 is going to start putting him in a pretty strong position for this one, but Eventipol keeps the leader's jersey after three stages with some of the biggest names in cycling having claimed the earliest stages. Gernavagen uh, gets a f the first proper sprint. I don't know, Vanderpool, you would think that would be more of a breakaway type scenario than uh, that, but Pagacha goes on and wins two successive stages. The first climbing stages, proper, medium, and full mountain stages and it puts him into that yellow jersey and this year anyway big Atcher so far is looking to be the strong man no sign of Vingegaard as of right now but there is a jumbo visma win and it is Vingegaard on the second full mountain stage of this tour cutting that gap into big Atcher, but by how much i don't know pidcock with a win another Ineos Grenadiers win that is Filippo Ghana who picks that one up it's still Pegatcher having now led for quite a bit longer than a Venipole at this one Crass with a surprise win possibly a breakaway win on that occasion Vingegaard gets the next mountain stage but has not taken the leader's jersey away we're back to Sudal quick step and a Venipole with Pegatcher retaining the lead that was a mountain stage victory if Pegatcher picks up the next one that was a pivotal one as I think Vingegaard Seemingly, with two recent stage wins, would have closed things down quite a bit. But Van Art picks up the win on the individual time trial, and it's still Pagacher. One big mountain stage left to go, and the win goes to Pagacher. Therefore, he is probably going to see this one out, one would think. Jakobsen with the win. Weird to have three of the final four stages of the Tour de France be sprint stages. That's very unusual. By Henley takes the win on stage 20, and Pagacher will lead this thing for 17 of 21 stages claiming yellow big names big teams taking all of the stages other than Sepp Kras, uh, and total energy getting one stage we'll see what this does to our position in the standings at least no surprise for a low low ranked team that could help us stay a little bit higher standings but we don't know what's going on behind the scenes KOM sprint jersey combativity wise Pagacher wins by just 52 seconds over Vingegaard it looked like he had been closing it in fairly late in that one and then just couldn't close the deal in the last week Venipole third place but nearly five minutes down just ahead of Hindley Roglic was over 11 down Carapaz, Godou, Thomas, Martinez and Bardet are your top 10 KOM Bardet the winner Jakobsen uh, Sudal quick step takes the points jersey by just two points over Philipson. Wow, uh, very very close contest, and really Merlier was not that far off either. Same team as Jakobsen, so he would have been uh, serving the leader in a Venipole as well. Very dominant in the points classification as a team. Young rider Bagatcher, age going unchanged. We've done it's 2028, but the riders remain the same age, so he keeps riding for that. Uh, young rider classification and seemingly will forever Jumbo Visma winning the overall no surprises near the top top 10 are all teams that should be up there that's going to be a decent haul I'm guessing 10 is total energies which means they're the only team that's really kind of come in and surprised in this race they got a stage with Crass 
yeah, there you go. And he was 500k in the break. So it looks like one breakaway stage victory. It was Crass and Total Energies are the one team to punch above their weight. Uh, I don't know if we were ahead or behind them in the standings, but I'm guessing they, at the very least, will bump us down a spot. Individually, I have fallen 15 spots from 32nd in the rankings, which was incredible to still be that high, but now 47th in the rankings individually. And as a team, oh, we fell. We did fall. Yikes. Uh, so Jumbo Visma picks up a lot of points here. Trek gets no points whatsoever. But we jump all the way down to 20th. So harsh. So, so harsh. Uh, but we are close enough, just 40 points behind Intermarche, that we've got a decent chance to recover and move up. And either way, 20th is still higher than we have ever finished. We don't just have one race left. We have two races left out of the final three. I'm liking the chances that we can progress. In fact, I'm liking the chances that we can get more than 100 points the rest of the way, which could get us up to... 14th, 15th, or 16th type position here at the end of the season, hopefully. The diversity to gain uh, attribute points is what I'm most excited about with this Euro Tour coming up. Two cobbled stages and a time trial uh, will be really helpful. I decided that stage one and stage four are the two pivotal stages if we are going to have a chance at the combativity and the King of the Mountains classification. Those are the two that I'm going to target for this race for myself while having Hassan target the overall and giving Sagan a chance at least on the sprint jersey. But this is a very deep field as we go inside one kilometer on this one and it is going to get easier here towards the top. So we're just starting to get an acceleration and I'm starting to push to come through. Can't go max though, so we are going to have to come in bit later and no can't get there so uh, a little too early on that one turns out seemed like it had flattened out quite a bit and made it possible to go at the time we did which was about 800 meters out but turns out that was a little too early uh, it was a hard break to establish today uh, we are only just now recovering really and that's because it was only about 10 kilometers ago that the field the peloton finally decided that the three of us were a suitable breakaway and sat up uh, otherwise we've been holding about a one minute gap for quite a while with other individuals trying and not succeeding at uh, getting off the front and, and joining us uh, but the first king of the mountains point is not mine we've got more points available uh, we've got a mixture of fours and threes with a single category two today I'll be going for everything that I can get my hands on points-wise here in this first stage to get that early jump on uh, our points haul for the season, to get the early lead on those classifications, and then set ourselves up for a chance to recover, rest a little bit on stages two and three before going for it on stage four. But we might, depending on how stage, how this stage plays out, how stage two plays out, we may be aggressive with the third stage if necessary or at least for a little while for the sake of the combativity and for the sake of trying to lead through some couple sectors it's a fairly flat one there's not much KOM going on why is there but uh, if I want the king of the mountains if this stage goes well and we're leading we'll see you know where things are by the time we get to that third stage second climb inside 2k to go on this one after sitting on for a little while and allowing myself to recover, getting back to full strength, we started contributing once again as we went forward, so no reason for them to be upset with me. And we're down to one and a half K to go to the top on this one. It's definitely steeper. It does ease off of the top, but much later than the last one did. So we don't want to go too early here, but I'm thinking maybe 600 meters. If he attacks too early i'll just follow and he does 800 meters he's already on the attack so i will follow him for a while and then try to come through at about 300 there you go come on come on oh wow these guys are definitely faster these guys are faster than what i'm used to it's a higher level race i do get one point though so it's not nothing uh, at this point desol took the first point i've got one point and dewolf has two Third climb of the day, only one point available here. 
something odd that's kind of happened with the Peloton is that they really sat up. They gave us seven and a half minutes, but then it didn't stabilize, which would be the normal thing. Instead of stabilizing, as we're seeing an early attack by DeWolf, couldn't quite follow, trying to take it a little bit on the easy side here. We'll follow him for now. Uh, the thing that that was odd that happened as we'll try to attack now if we can. Can we get over the top? No, he's pushing all the way through. I lunged early, but I still got it. I got it. I got this one. So that's two points for me. Equal with the wolf. Instead of stabilizing the gap, they immediately started closing the gap. So it went out to seven and a half. Never stayed there. Immediately started coming back, and we're looking at 518 right now. Short distance later, and we're on to the next categorized climb. Just cat four. Already coming up on 1K to go. It's a short one, but it's a steep one. You definitely don't want to go too early, as it's 9.5%. But it looks like DeWolf is going, and I couldn't quite latch on as I had hoped to, which is giving him a bit of a gap. So uh, chasing that down, I have to do so carefully. Save myself a little something here. Oh, again, I try to latch on and it does not work. And we're looking at 200 meters. I've got to push through now if I'm going to get it. And I do. Nice. Into the lead. Virtual KOM lead right now. Coming up on the intermediate sprint that we're going to have, we are 1K out. So I'm going to have to get an early jump on this one to get ahead of these guys. Was it too much too early as I was at about 900 meters? Can I maintain this all the way to the finish line? It looks like I can. And I've got a gap even, so we set up a little early. Full 20 points. Intermediate sprint is mine. Uh, I've almost maxed out what I need for intermediate sprint, so I won't have to bother with those in the future uh, in terms of what it does for attribute development. So that'll be nice to not have to worry about those anymore. I think I only need maybe one more. So we're at home must, and if I remember correctly, this is like the UK tour. Uh, so we are in the west of England for this one at a hill or southwest England. Not too far outside of London. We've got 2k to go to the top. Dessel has already been dropped so Dessel is falling behind. He is 23 seconds back so the weaker rider has been dropped. I'm feeling good, feeling confident right now. Let's go ahead and use our gel at this point. The feed zone's coming up after this anyway. So I'll make sure I'm fresh as we go to the top. This one, straight up to the top, and it's a cat two. Peloton already down within four minutes, but that's not a threat to us right now. Just over 1K to go. Forcing DeWolf to do the work means that's going to tire him out a bit and should give me a pretty good chance to... Uh, Take the top, Dwolf, out of the saddle. Putting that foot down and we will follow, 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 and then try to overtake late. Following and trying to use that gel to set me up for that little bit more to finish and come over the top. He's draining me, he's draining me, he's done, he's done, he's done. Can I get through? Oh, he cuts me off. I try to go outside. Yeah, I got it. Nice, five points. Dessel already 345 down, so he's not going to be a threat. He's going to be back in the peloton here quite soon. And we're coming up 5k from the feed zone, so I'm trying to check on my teammates to see... They're descending right now. They probably don't need the gels. There you go. DeWolf is tired. Looks like we're going to be going solo possibly from here. Very technical through there, and I did make a mistake, which is good to see. I'm 20 seconds ahead of DeWolf, so looks like we're going to be riding solo from here. This is really the last climb on the way to the finish, but it's still 32 kilometers, so we cannot be pushing crazy hard here. It's also only two and a half minutes to the peloton, so I'm not a threat to the GC. I think I might as well go for the stage, hang on for as long as I can, and then make sure I get dropped and lose time so that when I do try to be a breakaway rider later, it isn't going to be a threat. I'm not going to be a threat to the field. Though, like in some of the other, unlike in some of the other races, 
with a Pagatcher with actual favorites here. As DeWolf has regained contact. Okay. So it's him and I again. 4.8k. All right. On to that next one. It's still another just cat four. 400 meters already, but a lot more tired than before. So I've got to save it for a bit later here. Going now and beating DeWolf is not too hard at this point. He's pretty tired. But he is helping me get along. For now, we are now a minute 40 ahead of the Peloton. That gap getting smaller and smaller. Next climb's a Cat 3. It's a great opportunity. We are together here. That's a good time to go ahead and use my gel as we approach that next one. Speeding things up. We're already down to just 2K. So we'll slow Will down here in a moment. And at 20 over the Peloton and a Cat 3. Good opportunity for a couple more points and a very, very firm early grasp on the King of the Mountains jersey. I don't think we have enough for the stage with 20k to go and this level of fatigue that we're carrying, but uh, I'll take that KOM jersey and that Combativity Award. I don't know how long this stage is compared to the others. I'll have to look at the length. Peloton just 23 seconds behind now, so uh, as we went through the final King of the Mountains points of the day, and I got the bulk of them. Uh, certainly not all, but I got the majority of Mohoric attacking the Peloton at the moment. Be nice to have that help. We can uh, certainly ride the wheel of a rider like that if he gets away. But meanwhile, there is 94 left in the Peloton. It looks like I have my entire Watch team there, so the that's a good opportunity to uh, maybe have something. Oh, He's hello, Pagatcher. We're getting little mini attacks. There's one steep hill coming up here in just a moment. That, that's the time to go. So I'm going to be telling, I need to see where everybody is. Uh, Schultz is right here with me. Good. We're going to have him be the guy. And we're going to tell him to attack. Uh, as for me, though, I'm, I'm about done here. The pace pace is just too much at this point. And so we're going to blow up. There it is. No, I'm the first one out. Schultz has attacked. Schultz has escaped off the front. Now's a good time to uh, also tell somebody else, like Martinez, to attack. Looks like Jungles is going to catch Schultz. No, the whole group has caught Schultz. Not sure what happened there. He had... Thought he had 30 seconds. Guess he did not. Alright, telling everyone to attack Sagan was able to get 5th place. I think Vanderpool was the uh, eventual winner. I think 5th uh, place is worth some points there for Sagan. Yes, Vanderpool does take the stage. Sagan does get fifth. And Johansson actually was able to finish ninth as well. I picked up 12 points in the King of the Mountains classification. There's not a whole lot more than that available the rest of the way. So it's looking fairly good. But DeWolf has six, so we are going to have to make sure we still go out there and compete at some point for this. And in terms of the combativity... I claim the jersey for the day ahead of DeWolf by 5k, well ahead of Desal, who uh, was 50k less, and that's a great opportunity for us uh, to carry that lead on through the tour, especially if I'm planning on at least one more breakaway stage. But we'll have to see what happens on the next one. I'm absolutely 100%, without a doubt, going to sit out stage two. By the way, this is a higher value race than what I am used to. So we pick up eight points instead of the usual four for a stage such as this. So double points. Johannesson's ninth on the stage, even that was worth four points. And Sagan picks up 12 for his fifth place finish today. So a decent haul for the team. Definitely going to help us out a little bit. It's already moved us up one spot to now 19th in the standings. And just 16 points behind Intermarche and Arkea Samsic each. So good news, that was the longest stage of the tour. I picked up over 160 kilometers worth of time on the front. Depending on who gets into the breakaway though, in the next couple of stages will dictate whether I need to get in the break for the third stage. I think more realistically, I need to be targeting just stage four. And then of course the time trial at the end. 
And that means I go for the quick stage here on stage two. Just three points available in the King of the Mountains. I will 100% without a doubt still a have that jersey. In really and unless we don't even finish in the top ten. they picked up a decent amount of kilometers, the two riders who ended up being in the break. But that was that was not bad. Not bad. So two guys adding in. We'll have to keep an eye on who is in stage three. But this does confirm that I will go ahead and sit out stage three as well. I'd love to participate here and get a chance to be in the break, but know your limits. We had Keep no yourself fresh. For the classification Sit this stage. one out. Sagan takes 55th at the same time. Win. Everybody else Take on the, the team jersey. loses All time today. Negative. The fantastic news here is there is not one breakaway rider who had been in either of the first two stages, even though it was a large group. Ten riders off the front today. Teammate Jose Lopez was among them. But none of them accum accumulate kilometers to put them ahead of myself in the classification. So as I enter stage four, five is a time trial. So it's not going to count for combativity. So a breakaway from stage four secures that. And I've already got a comfortable lead in the King of the Mountains before we head into the stage four that combines a little bit of climbing along with a whole lot of cobbled sectors. I'm probably not going to stay alive for terribly long because I'm so weak in the cobbles, but leading through a number of cobbled sectors is going to give me some attribute points in that cobble rating going forward. And of course, getting those KLMs as well is going to give us the points we need for our haul here for the end of the season. And winning that jersey is going to be worth a lot more than what it normally is. And I'm looking pretty dang good to take that jersey and the combat activity. So two jerseys for this race. It's not a huge points haul. We're not winning anything. No stage victories or anything along those lines. However, all things considered for a weak team that's not built for this type of race, I think we're going to be looking pretty and good uh, on the outcome value-wise, return-wise. Very early in the stage, a total of seven riders are currently off the front with a minute 13 advantage to the peloton as more are trying to attack, which is probably not going to help us out right now. There are riders in this group that have been in a breakaway like Chad Mark, but I have the most kilometers off the front, but that does mean I'll have to hang on for a while. Lots of cobbled sectors spread throughout the stage. It's going to give me a big opportunity to really develop my cobble rating, which is only a 63 right now. It's my lowest attribute, period. In terms of the KOM, in order to win it, it's not going to take much. I think DeWolf is the only one who has substantial points besides me. He has six, I have 12. He's not here. There is a rider in here, I think, that has a couple of points. So I'm going to go with the assumption that I have a 10 point advantage. There are, as we're already approaching the first one, just 4.7k away. The seven of us still pulling away. Peloton, not letting us go. Lescano, they didn't seem too keen on him attacking. They were happy when it was seven of us. When that eighth one went, they put their foot down and they pulled back 20 seconds on us. But uh, I don't need very many points because I have enough. I, I essentially have a 10 point cushion with just 14 points to compete for. So for one thing points can be spread out amongst different riders and that's going to make that part easier two and a half k to go to the top here by the way that'll make that part easier but all i have to do is take one or two points and it's done right so i don't even have to be first over the top as we have 3k uh or two points available at the top on this one i think definitely gonna put foot down this oh you can see just how bad cobble rating wise I'm going to have to accelerate just to stay with these guys. Yeah, this group split up real fast. Four guys get dropped, three go away. Three guys that are better climbers, better punchers. There's Latour. He's not good on cobbles. He's going back. He's a good climber. Oh, shoot. DeWolf is here, and he just picked up two points. And Van Mark picked up a point. So the other guys that had something, that's not good. That's not good at all. The riders are crossing the finishing line for the first time Ooh. and will head towards okay. the Paterberg. That's the, the finish line, huh? Paterberg. Oh. Okay, so uh, these stages are split up among different key races over the course of the year. 
and if we're talking Paderborn, then we're talking. Um, it's not the Rande van Vlaanderen, but isn't it like the baby? Uh, the baby v fl Flanders race? I believe. Peloton's already down to 145. It's going to be an interesting day here, folks. Really interesting day. Can I get back up? Gosh, no, I, I can't. I'm, I'm pushing and I can't even. I'm so slow. Wolf picks up another point. He's got three already. He's got nine to my 12. Just like that. We've got to pull this group along. Eventually, all eight have come back together. Three minutes over the peloton. They sit up a little bit. Let us pull out a little bit of a gap. We do have a couple of sectors to get through. It'd be nice to lead through one. Which is right there. Can we lead through? Did that lead through? I don't know. We tried. I guess it would have said at the top. So I think I, I think the wolf was still at the front as we went through. I'll have to, I thought 1,500 meters meant it was going to last a bit longer than that. That was not very long. So feed zone is not for a very long time. So I got to keep that in mind as we go forward uh, and not exhaust myself too much to stay alive and make sure that I'm getting the combativity award. You reach the but I need to pick up some points in the KOM. And here we go. Uh, shoot, there's the wolf. I'm behind a wolf. You know he's going to be aggressive and go for it. And so is Van Mark for that matter. Follow Latour, he's faster. 400 meters. Let's go. Coming through over the top is good. And with the throw, I got it. This is a cat three. There's two points here. I really worry about this one because it's also a heavy, heavy cobbled sector. I think my best chance would be to be off the front. And I might try to attack early here. Well, might. I am. I'm going to attack early. See if I can get a little bit of separation from these guys. A cult location for Belgian cycling. And a mythical, often decisive okay, uh, the attack's not working. They're still on me here. There's the cobbled portion. There goes Van Mark and DeWolf. They're going to get the points again. Yeah, I can't keep up. I'm, tr I'm trying to attack, and I can't even move ahead of Latour. I just got to follow and stay in the group. I'm too weak. Too weak in the cobbles. I'm getting dropped here. is done for the first riders. They will now tackle a less eventful section. 20 or so kilometers. To Wolf gets two points again. He now has 11 to my 13. I may not be winning this King of the Mountains jersey. I may need it. I, I may come into a situation where I needed the three points on the second stage, but then I'd be too tired for a day like this. So I just need the cobble rating. That's, that's the big thing, is I just do not have... The necessary cobble rating. I'm a minute and a half behind those guys already. That happened real fast if we're going to catch up. It's going to take a ride. Three of us now chasing. I think he was waiting for his teammate. That's why he wasn't really contributing. But now that the three of us are chasing... Good chance of getting caught up. Just 30 seconds behind now. The breakaway is losing And we're back together. Lead. It's going to be difficult for that. At 345 over the peloton. That was the hardest climb of the day, as it was both steep and cobbled, and the hardest cobbled sector of the entire day. So we survived it, but we're still alive in the group. I've only used half of my red gel. I still have a chance at this, but it's really not looking good right now as But Lescano and Lechnison take the points this time. So even though I couldn't come through and get points, I don't lose any ground this time at least. I, I really hope that we've seen... Uh, 
DeWolf go too deep and we'll be too tired. Maybe see him get dropped. That would set us up to still be okay. No points lost that time. Still a two-point advantage. There's only a single Cat 3 left, but there are still six points available. All right, I'm trying to go for it here on this one. Uh, the red bar is nearly gone, and it's DeWolf who's behind me. I'm leading through the cobbled sector at least, uh, but holding off DeWolf for the point. No, he gets it. He's now within one. He and I have escaped off the front. But, uh, those cobbles are just kicking my butt here today. This climb feels like my best opportunity to potentially still claim the King of the Mountains jersey. I don't think there's cobbles here. And as we come out of this, oh, there is cobbles here, damn it. But it's already just 500 meters away. If, I'm too slow through here, but if Lizcano can get it, at least it's not DeWolf. I'm trying to attack, here comes Vermark. There goes DeWolf. Come on, Lizcano, come on, Lizcano, come on, Lizcano, get it, Lizcano. Come on, Lescano. Or Venmark. 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 Yes. Yes. No. DeWolf beats him to the line, and we're tied. Damn. I thought for sure. I, I was hoping for Lescano, but it was clear he was fading. But it looked, from my perspective, it looked like that was easily Van Mark's. I mean, easily, you know, half a wheel but it looked like it was Van Marks. I didn't see a throw from anyone, but DeWolf gets the point. Peloton on the attack and it's blowing our team up here really fast. I already used their blue gel just a handful of kilometers ago and they are draining really fast. Meanwhile, at the front, we're actually doing okay. We've got a two minute advantage over the Peloton with 43K left. 1k from the top, I'm now in the must-win territory, and DeWolf is trying to go early. I get blocked off by Lechtesund just a little bit here. Trying to set myself up for this final portion over the top. Not quite having enough left for the throw. Oh, just a little too weak. DeWolf takes over. I've only managed to get one point all day. Disappointing. And I've only led through one, maybe two, cobbled sectors too. So not a huge help in that department either. At the intermediate sprint point, I decided I didn't want to fight for it. So I didn't attack. And a tiny gap opened. I, just, I said work with Van Kirl's book. And he didn't want to work, and he ended up getting dropped. So now I'm 40 seconds behind the front riders, alone trying to catch up a minute and a half ahead of the peloton, of the and, and in trouble for those last two sectors. I could still take the jersey, but it's not looking good. I mean, it hasn't been looking good throughout. We've only been able to get one point all day. DeWolf clearly better on cobbles, and almost all of the climbs have been cobbled. There's only been two that weren't, and... Come on, make that contact. There we go. We're back in. The pace. I can't keep up with these guys. I'm definitely sensing, noticing that I'm racing against tougher racers, and DeWolf is going to go over the top first. Again, it's a miracle that I was able to beat him in stage one at all. So at this point, it's going to be about trying to get the combativity award, which may not be secure. I was the first one off the front, so I got a few kilometer head start, maybe 10. I had about a 3k advantage over DeWolf, maybe 13. I've been off the back for probably 8 to 10, so uh, it's really close right now. DeWolf is the main competitor for that. Van Mark has been in a breakaway as well, but it was probably 50 kilometers shorter, so I don't think he's a threat. It's all about DeWolf and just how dominant he has been today and how much I've struggled with the cobbles in particular. Minute 40 ahead of the peloton with just 14k to go. There's still the tiniest chance of this group taking 
the stage and maybe I could finish in the top five as a result. Or top six, that is. We're down to six in the group. We've dropped two now. Not attacking right now, just setting tempo, steepest section. Run as fast as I can through here. This is helping with that gap. In fact, it's opening it up. Peloton's now two minutes behind. And I've got a chance to actually go claim a point, but I think it's too late, right? <laughs> Inside 10K and a 243 advantage over the Peloton. Folks, I think we're going to do it. I think we are going to hang on. I'm not riding anymore. I'm not going to contribute at all. I'm quite tired here. I need to recover as much as possible because that last climb is going to hurt. I'm, I'm not going to win, folks. I am not going to win. But if I can crack the top five, that would be a fantastic points haul um, for us for today. Hey, 3.8K. Oof, the door. That was the AI that did that, but I squeezed him. <laughs> While I was following him. Didn't work out terribly well, but he and I are still in contact. Here we go. This is it. Final climb. I got a little recovery there, but I'm very tired. So as these guys push on, it's going to drain me pretty quick. I'm going to have to just climb my tempo and hope that one or two guys are dropped before that happens and that I can get at least a top five. That's, that's my hope. And the gels are already used, so... This is now about holding the peloton off and getting 6th place. Leknasund ahead of me is my best hope of anything else. And I am just 45 seconds ahead of the peloton now. DeWolf takes the win ahead of Van Mark. Those two have been so dominant. Latour is next. And we are over the top 800 meters and I'm down to just a 20 second advantage. I gotta get that little bit of recovery. And then now we're going to try to ride for the line. Lescano, Latour. Oh, and then here comes the pack. I'm the one who's caught. Too weak on the day. I'm just way too weak for that. But that's the whole point of a stage such as that one, is we haven't had the experience. I'd had a total of three cobbled stages ever. That makes it four. We had that previous stage. I probably should have just done it. Uh, and try to be in the breakaway, really. Uh, but I was thinking that we had a legitimate shot at the King of the Mountains, but it turns out that DeWolf had not only the punchy necessary, we outsmarted him and beat him in that first stage, but he had the punchiness and the cobble rating and absolutely kicked our butts there. Top four hang on as breakaway riders with DeWolf three seconds ahead of Mark, 143 to Lascano. A tour at 150. Vanderpool wins the sprint of the bunch uh, with the fifth place at 216. So that's where that starts. Sagan was 223 down in 19th. I was 20th, also at 223 down. So it was my teammate Sagan who finished just ahead of me. Uh, Johannesson was 302 down. Van Hoek was 328 down. So that will impact uh, how the overall standings are looking. But those 10 points for DeWolf compared to my two was enough to get him into a much stronger position on that KOM and exceed what I was doing to Wolf. Also picking up 50 points on the day. I don't know what that's going to do for the points classification, but man, oh man, what a big day for him. He was so strong. Combativity, DeWolf gets 152. I get 121, so he in, ends up exceeding my total by 31 kilometers, which means he is going to steal the combativity away from me as well as that King of the Mountains. Really disappointing on that part. He's a better rider. He is the better rider. Uh, all I could take away from this now is that I will have gained some points, uh, hopefully, <laughs> and that uh, I will at least get a couple of cobble points out of this one, uh, one would hope. Still one stage to go, and it's an individual time trial. It's really not going to matter much uh, in the grand scheme of things. However, I will be playing that one at the beginning of the next episode so that we can also split up that race into a couple of parts uh, along the way. But in terms of GC and everything, yeah, it, it's done. Sagan's still going to be fairly well placed, though. So Sagan is uh, potentially in the top 10, and that is a bit of a relief because that'll help us pull in some points. 
That's going to do it for this episode, though. I'm the Cathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.